What's your name, sweetheart? Lydia Lanks. Wanna make something of it? <laughs> I like her style, boy. Did you ever serve nachos, honey? No, but I've served ground glass to fart brains like you. <laughs> Fine, you're hired. Hey, you start at 7 o'clock tonight, and you probably get off at, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, right? You get four bucks an hour plus whatever tips and drugs you get. And uh, look, Lydia, you know, if you're good, if you're real good, I might take you out for breakfast in the morning. Oh, I'm good, honey. Real good. <laughs> Send in the next girl. Come on. Hey there. I'm Angela Smith Furry. You must be the two uh, thugs I've been hearing about. I, I really do need this job. I'm working my way through medical school. I'm going to be a proctologist someday. I'm very dependable. I'm a real, real hard worker. And uh, no job is too big or too small. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Go out of way! Where did this one come from? Get out of here! I'll tell you what it is. It's just fairy gale, bitch. That's what it is. What kind of example is she setting for the youth of this city? You know, the kids out there are taking baths all of a sudden. Next thing you know, they're going to be off drugs. It's ruining our business. This bitch has got to be stopped. I say we kill her. No, you gotta be subtle about it. There'd be a big investigation if you were to kill her. You gotta be subtle about this. There are other ways that we can, you know, work our way around and get this slut, this yeah. Ferengale slut, this yeah. hypocritical little slut. Yeah. In fact, I've already taken some steps already. This kid here has. Me. Heather Ferengale. Cute, perky, and wholesome candidate for city council. I was wondering if you might be able to help me with some food ideas for my big campaign fundraiser. Your firm comes highly recommended. Why, everyone's using cosmic caterers these days. Um, I understand you spray all your food with vitamin E. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm thinking of inviting about 500 people, and I'd like something kind of distinctive so that they'll remember the party and hopefully I'll get their vote and their bucks. Uh, well, um, I, uh, I found that uh, for a party of the type you're considering, a uh, tahu wheel is a must. And with that, you can have uh, groats and humus pate, uh, whole wheat nachos and uh, soybean paste finger sandwiches and, of course, several large bowls of sprouts. You um, know, the last time we did a thing like this, we filled an entire bathtub full of trail mix. It was beautiful. You know, you can feel the vibes. Mmm, mmm. Vibes. Well, sounds yummy, but how much would it cost? Oh, um, I uh, guess you would want, of course, the uh, deluxe presentation. You know, that includes a uh, full-service vegetarian staff with, uh, with uh, subdued hairstyles and well-scrubbed faces. And they wear, uh, wow, they wear 100% natural fabric Ukrainian peasant costumes. And they uh, walk around and hand out pamphlets on nutrition and holistic photography. And they pull cigarettes out of the guests' mouths. I mean, we could even um, throw in a uh, round of fruit smoothies as a farewell drink. And hey, you can keep the melon plate. I figure we can do it for, oh, uh, say, around, oh, uh, three, four thousand. Um, is that dollars? Uh, right. Gee, it sounds like a lot, but I guess it's worth it for the vitamin E. Mm -hmm. Now, I really like everything except 
Um, the Ukrainian peasant costumes, even though they are 100% natural, we don't want to make other ethnic groups feel left out. And also, I would like to let my guests smoke if they want to. So, um, without those two things, would that lessen the cost any? Not a penny. Oh, oh, I see. Um, well, hmm. Perhaps you'd like to write it off your taxes as a generous campaign contribution. Uh, well, uh, you know, I'm not into taxes, but um, we could, uh, you know, step uh, back in the back and uh, mellow out with some chemical friends and uh, we could contribute to a more um, meaningful, uh, fluid uh, sharing experience. I mean, uh, Groove on it, baby. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, I'm sure it is just lovely, but I think right now I'll just have a... Um, hey uh, there. How's the candidate? You're certainly looking crisp and business-like. Oh, well, thank you. I think it's my new solar-powered lipstick. Narcissism Today says that deeper shades inspire confidence, but I haven't found the right hairspray yet. So how are things at the Funding Foundation? I've been arguing all day over the Cloth on Wheels program for the elderly. The Title 19 money was supposed to go directly into matching funds. Well, you know, you know, maybe when I become a powerful city official, I can help you with that because it's an issue I've always been very sincerely concerned with. I know. Let's uh, order some sandwiches while we wait for Todd. Great idea. I'd like a lettuce leaf on whole wheat with mustard and sprouts. I think I'll have egg yolk paste on whole wheat with sesame seeds and sprouts, and let me get another one for Todd, too. Thank you. Is Todd? He's just great. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. He should be along just any second now. Oh, great. Here he is. Hi, honey. How was the interview? Okay. Uh, until they asked if I'd ever taken part in any anti-nuke demonstrations. It's so hard mixing politics and a career. I know. Well, maybe a nutritious lunch will help your feelings. Oh, yeah. And afterwards, we were all thinking of going over to Creative Clothing Concepts. That's a new kind of sandwich, Todd, that we ordered for you. You'll really like it. Anyway, at Creative Clothing Concepts, I was hoping that you could maybe help me pick out a new dress for the big campaign fundraiser because you are just so good with fashion for a boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll just run down the street and mail these letters and then I'll have time to get to the clothing concept when my job letters are safely in the mail. Uh, be right back. Okay. Mm. Bye, Todd. I hope his next job is easier to understand. Golly, I know. Brooke, what is a nuclear physicist anyway? Is that anything at all like being a pharmacist? I've never been sure. What was that? Heather, it's for you. Gosh, a brick! How macho! Kevin couldn't have sent this. I wonder who it's from. Sure is an original way to get a girl's attention. Sure is heavy, too. Golly. What? Oh! No! What is it? No! Brooke, this note says that if I don't drop out of the campaign, a dreadful secret from my past will be revealed. Who on earth would do such a thing? What's happened? Todd, I got this awful threatening note. Those black-hearted fiends. Politics is a dirty game, Heather. Maybe you'd best get out of it. Well, they will never get me to quit. No matter what kind of sordid filth they want to dredge up, Atlanta needs Heather Faringdale, and Heather Faringdale won't let Atlanta down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Besides, I can't think of anything I've ever done that's that interesting.